Hi actors, my name is Wendy Elaine Wright and I'm a talent manager in Los Angeles, California. But before I was a talent manager, I was an artist just like you. I started out with a dream to be a singer um, in Connecticut where I grew up. And I just loved being on stage. But I, I had really bad stage fright when I was a kid. So it took me a good 10, 15 years to get over that fright so that I could go on to have a really amazing singing career, which I did. And um, I also wanted to be an actor, and so I acted, and I auditioned, and I got an agent, and I, and I auditioned for things, and I, I ended up uh, doing several films and some television shows, and um, I just fell in love with every part of the entertainment business, from, from acting to singing and writing and producing and directing and just watching the whole process of, of being creative and making these amazing stories come alive. Whether it was through a song or whether it was through a visual medium like acting. Um, and I love the theater too. Artists, painters, landscape artists, I really don't care. Artists, I just, I think are just like the most glorious human beings on earth. And um, so I am 100% dedicated and committed to all artists. I just want to help you so much achieve your goals. And I know as a human being, we tend to struggle with fears and self-doubt and confusion and sabotage and all these kind of things that we do to ourselves that kind of prevent us from doing what I think God put inside us to do. So it's really weird because God, I believe, places these gifts inside us and human beings have to like struggle to get free enough to let them out. Oh, that's so crazy. But that is the nature of the beast. So I am really, really committed to helping you all become successful and not just successful in like, hi, I made a million dollars or hi, I'm a TV star, but successful at being yourself, successful at being free successful at being fearless. It's the whole package, you know. Yes, you want to have a career as a singer, as an actor, as a musician, whatever, but the most important element of success in my opinion is being free enough to be whatever you want to be. So that is why I work so hard day and night to help brand new people, help any people really who want to become free and fearlessly pursue their craft their their business you know because a lot of times you can you can have the skill as an actor but be afraid to take it to the next level because you're afraid to reach out and talk to people who are important in the business you're afraid that you're not going to be good enough or afraid that you don't know how to sell yourself or you could be you know really good at the business and and be holding yourself back in an acting class or afraid to fully let yourself out in front of an audience so you got to work on the spiritual elements of who you are and the professional elements of your business and develop your your tools it's all one thing you know it's it's becoming a full developed human being and you know i'm launching a brand new website that i we've talked about it before but we're getting close and i'm really specific you know i'm really particular making sure that everything that i can do to help you is on this website so you'll have all kinds of opportunities to have different kinds of interaction with me in different ways in different levels um but I just wanted you to know that I am a really, you know, genuine resource to help you. You know I'm open to questions and I will answer your emails if you send them to wawentertainment at yahoo.com. And um, if I can guide you uh, spiritually in some way, you know, I'm not a guru and I'm not praying, you know, I'm not Deepak Chopra, but I, I read a lot of Deepak Chopra. I've met Deepak Chopra. I will guide you to Deepak Chopra and Marianne Williamson and a program called The Forum, which is so amazing, and a book called The Four Agreements and another seminar called Insight Seminars. And, uh, you know, um, I just have lots of tools and resources that I can give you to make sure you're walking the path of expanding yourself, expanding your belief in yourself, and expanding how committed you are to getting past whatever's stopping you and fully actualizing who you are as a human being. And I, I mean, I, you got a little bit of time on this planet. You know, we all do. And things happen like that. And all of a sudden, we're not in the position to do the things we, we dream of doing. Um, life changes and when those things happen they come unexpectedly and and so time is not something you waste you have a certain amount of it and none of us ever know when ours is up so at this very moment it is your life it is time to connect deeply to what you want 
go sit down, pray, get quiet, get calm and whatever you have to do and think about what you want to experience on this planet in your time. And then make a commitment to yourself that you're going to do it no matter what it takes and commit to yourself. You've got to be your own best friend. You've got to have your own back. You've got to love yourself enough. And it's hard sometimes to believe in yourself. Sometimes it's hard to love yourself. Sometimes it's hard to have faith, but life is about growing and changing and evolving. Nothing stays the same. You know, every single day, I think every year or whatever it is you replace every single cell in your body. I mean, you're not even the same you, you were last year. I don't want you to be defined by what you didn't accomplish last year. Um, don't beat yourself up for not following through on other things. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Today is a clean slate and it is a power. You know, listen, life is a mystery and there's magic in it. And you are an energy source that is connected to the universe, which is also an energy source. And together, when you put your intentions and your, your, your energy into doing things, the universe responds. I hate to say it, but it's kind of like the show lost and I got to bring lost up because I'm binge watching it right now. You know, uh, for a week I've been, been, I've been, I have all six seasons and I've, I'm been what binge watching. I'm halfway through season three right now. <laughs> that show but the concept that the island is in cahoots with the people on it you know for better or worse it's kind of true look at look at life you know I mean it's kind of true your universe responds to how you think and the energy you put out in it if you have negative thoughts you can create negative experiences if you have positive thoughts you can create positive experiences if you have negative energy towards yourself, you can create disease in your body. If you have positive healing energy towards yourself, you can create wellness. So yeah, we're kind of like in the show lost, you know, we are in connection with our host planet. And I'm not like a astrologist, numerologist, psycho, strange, whatever. I'm talking serious business here. It is proven that if you are negative towards yourself, your body reacts to that in a negative way. And when you're negative to others, karma reacts to that in a negative way. So you got to get conscious about your thoughts and what you think. The process of becoming an artist, becoming an actor is not simply building a resume, building your marketing skills and, um, auditioning. That's part of it. But if you get on the set and you're not kind, people will not want you back. If you don't believe in yourself and you get in the way of your own art and your own gift, you can stumble and fall and, and, and lose, um, your way during a production or during an audition or during a performance. You know, you've got to be, you've got to be clean, healthy, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. We are whole people. So your journey as an artist is to work on all those aspects without pressure. I mean, sometimes people want this business so bad. They're like, I got to book that role or I got to become this. And, and they don't have a life outside of that. They're not working on their spiritual side. They're not working on their heart. They're not working on their relationships. They're not enjoying life. They're not enjoying the process. They're taking everything so seriously. And the fear is too much. You got to breathe, <sighs> breathe. Remember to breathe and relax through this life. And there's a wonderful book called the artist way. I think it's by Julia Cameron. Oh, I love that. I love that book. I suggest all artists get that book. This is a process. Life is a process, you know, and through this amazing journey of life, we have the death of family members. We have sickness of family members. We have disappointments. We have, um, things that happen to us. We have divorces. We have problems with family, children, um, things happen and we have to learn how to accept the things that we don't necessarily like. Sometimes it doesn't mean to prove of it. Sometimes we have to accept it and not fight their certain things. Okay. If you have your limitations, say you're not tall and you're never going to be a supermodel, you know, or you're not a good looking guy, you're a, you're a dorky looking guy, whatever, accept those things about yourself, embrace those things. It's part of who you are. It's the, it's what you have to sell. You, you have to understand that what you are is 
what God made you to be. And you can increase and improve your techniques, your skills, your talents. You can increase and improve how kind you are to people. You can change how you react to situations and choose what kind of energy you want to react with. You can choose what you put your attention on. You can, you can choose, because if you put your intention on things, that ten, ten, tends to be what's going to happen. So whatever you focus your attention on is what's going to manifest in your life. So you can choose what you put your attention on. These are the things we have the power to, uh, we have the power over. Our thoughts, our feelings, our reactions, and what we focus on, how hard we work, how kind we are to people, um, how genuine and authentic we are, how well we manage our lives and manage our time and manage our presence on this earth. And um, artists are charged with something really amazing. It's this ability we have to touch people in a profound way that penetrates beyond the moment deep into the soul of a human being where time is suspended and the human being only feels the presence of being a human being in the presence of love or peace or hate or beauty or whatever the emotion and an artist takes a human being out of the present moment into this suspended space where we really connect to love to life to being by telling stories whether it's music which takes us away there or acting storytellers that's what we are artists painters writers we we create a relief we create the beauty we create the joy that makes being human bearable we emphasize the beauty of the human condition and it is our responsibility to share those things. So yes, you may have fear. Who doesn't? You may not think you're good enough. We all feel that sometimes. You may hold yourself back. Got it. But let that go. Because you're a gift. And I don't just say this to sound like some weird guru. I mean, listen, really, you're a gift. The universe selects certain people to be artists. Because everybody's not an artist. Everybody can't paint, everybody can't act, everybody can't sing, everybody isn't an artist. Everybody's not a writer. There are engineers, there are scientists, there are history people, they work with a totally different side of their brain. Artists are created to be artists. So it's okay for you to pursue your art to the fullest extent of your ability. It is okay for you to give it all to your art, to give yourself fully, freely, and completely. It's okay for you to believe in yourself and allow your truest, deepest, artistic, creative self to come forth. And trust that that's enough. Don't analyze what, how it compares to what other people's art is. Like everybody's art is a unique expression that is that comes through you and can only be done by you with your fingerprint your personal touch and it will never match anyone else's but and it doesn't have to it's good enough just the way that it is just your fingerprint on this planet your fingerprint on this life your artistic expression is enough you can take classes to train the level of skill that you develop and you should, if you're an artist, you should develop your artistic skill to the highest level you can develop it and keep sharing that all the way through that process. Share it when it's okay, share it when it's good, share it when it's great, share when it's fantastic, share when you're the best, but always keep sharing your talent. Okay, so I just really wanted to just remind you that you're a spiritual being having a human experience and you're here to express the spiritual qualities of God and light and love and peace and creativity through you to everyone else on this planet. It helps heal the planet. It helps to keep everybody whole and sane. And it's a disgrace when you block that energy. Okay, don't block that energy. That's not your job here. Your job is not to block it.
So if you've got stuff going on in here that's blocking your energy, you've got to get rid of it. See a therapist, pray, go to church, exercise, whatever you got to do. But don't block the light that God put in you that's coming from you, that is healing and helping and, 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 and filling this planet up with beauty. Don't block that. Okay, a lot of you guys email me, you know, I'm afraid of this or I'm afraid of that and I'm, I'm not sure if I believe in myself enough and then I got it. I get it. And you can get past that. You have to change your perspective, your, pers your perspective and understand that is your responsibility to bring forth what is within you. It is your duty. It is your part. You're doing your part and it is good enough. It will touch someone. Remember to be doing it for who, because you can't help but do it, but you're doing it for others. You're giving. You're giving this thing. Don't worry about whether it's good enough or someone else is better. It doesn't matter because art is subjective. Everybody feels relatively different about things. You know, some artists, people respond to, some don't. It's about how you touch the people you do touch. And I told you once before, I was in Rotterdam with Michael McDonald, who is my hero, one of my favorite singers in the world. And after a show, we were backstage and I asked him, you know, how do you become successful as a singer? And he said, sing on everything. He goes, and remember that not everybody will be a fan of yours. Not everyone's a fan of mine. But sing on everything. Your job is to give this gift. And I remember um, Kenny Rankin I had talked to once, another singer um, in L.A. When I met him after a show, he said, it is your job to share your talent. It is not your job to hoard it. And as an artist, successful artists believe that. And you need to believe that too. Okay? So it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have perfect faith in yourself before you try. Some people won't put anything out because it's not good enough. It's not perfect enough yet. You know, just get started. You got to start somewhere. Get started writing a song. Get started doing a play get started expressing yourself and it will get better over time with practice and and dedication and good training from people who are better than you who have more who can teach you and bring you up if you're in some kind of training class where you're the best move to another class where you're not the best anymore because that way you can expand and grow again there's always something new to learn but if your life is that of an artist then be dedicated to being free as an artist. Stop self-judging, self-loathing, getting in your own way, making excuses. A lot of time people use money as an excuse not to pursue their art. I had this guy email me this week. He said, you know, I come from a poor background, so I don't have the money for acting classes. And that's not true. Your background is not paying for your acting classes. You in this moment are what needs to pay for your acting classes. And so go get two jobs, save up the money, and then get in your acting class. Don't use, don't use excuses to not express your talent, okay? Don't let money, which is just another form of energy, inter be a form of sabotage for yourself. Don't let that be a form of sabotage. If you're struggling financially, stop acting for a year. Stop your singing career for a year. Stop your painting career, your sculpture, your writing, whatever, and get a couple jobs and work and make some money so that you are ahead. You know, stop for a year or two and get your degree so that you can substitute teach and, or do some kind of job where you make enough money. You, you know, it's okay to, to relax and to find the money to pursue your art. It's okay to take a break off from your art and make money to pursue your art. This is not a marathon. This is, yes it is, this is a marathon. What am I trying to say? Is it not a sprint? Yes, you need to be conscious that time is ticking and you're only here for a certain period of time. So you don't want to waste that sitting on your couch feeling sorry for yourself or doubting your ability. That's definitely not what you want to do. But you also don't have to try to push past where you are to try to get everything crammed in before you die. That's not what I'm saying either. Everything in life is balance. Determine that this life is going to be that of an artistic expression and plan how you're going to do it and take stack, take action every day towards your goals. Every day. Because you're supposed to. Not because you feel like it or don't feel like it, but just because you're supposed to. Just do it. And if you find you're stuck with money, stop. 
make some money, go back out and keep going. It's the quality of your life that matters. It's the quality. And when you are pursuing your craft and your gift and your, your goals, you will feel good about yourself. And that quality of feeling good about yourself because you're trying, because you're growing, because you're making efforts, because you're taking chances, because you're honoring your gift as an artist, you're honoring who you are, you're honoring your purpose in life, and you're living your life's purpose. That helps create quality of life. And that is the most important thing, to have a life that is filled with the truest expression of who you are. So I know the people watching this know exactly what I'm talking about. And um, I just felt compelled to share from my heart with you because sometimes I know this journey is difficult. But keep going. Keep going. And breathe. And you're going to screw up sometimes. So what? Get up. Keep going. You've heard that saying before. Imagine when you were a kid and you were trying to learn to walk. What would have happened if you fell down and then said, uh, we're, you know, I guess I can't walk. Would you ever have learned to walk if you didn't get up and keep walking? And you might go on auditions and not get the part. So what? Go on them again. You might get the next one or the next one. You know, you might put out an album that nobody likes. So what? Go back in the studio and write again. It's, 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 it's not to please other people. It's to be true to who you are. If you're a singer, sing. If you're an actor, act. If you're a writer, write. And keep writing. Whether it becomes a bestseller or you, nobody ever hears of it. So what? Keep writing. Whether your album sells a million copies or you sell one copy. Be true to yourself. Keep singing. Whether you become a star or you're an actor in a community theater and you never leave your town. Keep expressing. Be true to who you are. But if you have big goals and you're up to big things, you got to take big risks and big chances and experience some big failures. Everything is, is like bigger. The failure's bigger, the loss of money's bigger. So what? It's okay, enjoy this. This life is like, it's a, it's a game. It's, it's, it's a playground for you to express your magnificence. And sometimes it'll be well received and other times it'll fall on deaf ears. It doesn't matter. If, you are too, if you're scared, it's because you're thinking too much about yourself. You are being too self-centered, too neurotic about who you are and whether you're good enough. That's too much focus on yourself. Get your attention off yourself and help somebody else. When you start feeling afraid and like you're not good enough and blah, 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 